Okay, so I just got a package in the mail from Guitar Center. Um, it is a guitar that I found on sale there, and then I also had a coupon code. It's like 15% off pretty much anything. So I got this guitar for a really good deal. They typically go for right around 500 bucks. Got this guy for like 300 bucks, basically. Let's go ahead and unbox it. You see the arrows that say point up? It was definitely standing upside down the entire time, so... Alright, there it is. It definitely had a trim bar in the picture that, uh bought it off of so I'm a little upset that I don't see a trim at the moment nothing can ever be as good as you want it to be or ever work out the way exactly how you want it to so I've wanted a Jazzmaster guitar for a while now I found this guy on Guitar Center's used website I'm for an absolutely incredible deal because I also had a coupon code so I ended up getting this Squire J Mascus Jazzmaster for about 300 bucks and this guitar is awesome. If you look online anywhere, then you'll know this guitar has absolutely nothing but glowing reviews. Some people even say it is the best Squire guitar that they have ever played. So I want to sit down and play with this thing for a while and see if it holds up to the test, you know, see if it's constantly going out of tune, see how the pickups sound, see how the trim works. Um, yeah, so let's sit down for a little bit, let's play this thing, and then I will give you guys another word on it in a minute. Okay, so I've had some time, a few hours, to sit down and just really play with this uh, guitar. And I want to take a second to go over the specs really quickly. We've got a basswood body, obviously a Jazzmaster body shape. It is a polyurethane finish, which kind of sucks. I wish it was a lacquer so I could get it aged. And we have a maple neck, just a classic C-shaped neck. Oh, it's a yeah, it's a maple neck with a poly finish. It doesn't feel sticky like other like gloss finishes on necks and stuff, but I could see it benefiting from being sanded down a little bit. Scale length, 25.5 inches, which I'm not sure right off the top of my head what a like average guitar scale length is. I'm sure that's probably like just a super broad statement. There's probably no such thing as an average scale length, but it seems like a pretty long guitar. Even my wife, who knows very little about guitars, is like, wow, the neck on that is like super long. It's Indian Laurel fretboard material, 21 frets, they're jumbos. And we got single cool, single cool Jazzmaster pickups with the upper and lower circuits, tone and volume. You guys know the Guitar Center did not ship the whammy bar. However, I do have this one from whenever I built my uh, Jazzmaster kit from the Fretwire, so I was able to test it out a little bit. It stays in tune pretty well, just don't get anything too crazy, maybe for like a little bit of vibrato, but that's about it. You don't want to go too crazy. Tuning machines are vintage, which I think looks awesome. It's just from like always watching tone junkie videos or listening to their tones or something but like these jazz master pickups just sound like the way i want my clean tones to sound like i said earlier even like when you use the trim bar it stays in tune relatively well i don't find myself like constantly tuning the guitar as i'm playing it on the neck like i said earlier it feels pretty satin even though it has a poly finish on it it doesn't feel sticky quite like some other guitars like my eastman guitar that gloss finish is very thick this feels like a kind of a thinner gloss finish i guess would be the way to describe that and the neck plays very very well the fret ends seem to be dressed pretty well i can feel very very few spots the fit and finish is great the neck fits pretty much perfectly into the neck cavity. I don't really see any obvious blemishes other than I have a couple of dots right here that maybe could have been an issue through shipping because you know Guitar Center had it upside down so I'm not really sure how much care was given with the shipping. But other than that there are really no blemishes on this guitar and considering they only paid 300 bucks for it that is an absolute steal. So 
as far as plans for this guitar goes, the gold pit guard is probably, I don't know, I'm very torn on the gold pit guard. I went ahead and I ordered a brown tortoise shell pit guard. I don't know, the gold pit guard is obviously like the signature piece of this guitar. Like you see the gold pit guard and you know it's a J Mascus. However, I'm just not, I don't love it. It's a little flashy for me. So I may trade out for that brown tortoise shell pit guard and see how that looks. I mean, like I'd planned on possibly eventually changing the pickups, but they sound awesome. I mean, they really do. I'm super satisfied with those. Maybe later in the future, if I compare this to some other pickups or something, I mean, I seem to like the other pickups more. Maybe I'll just switch them, you know. I definitely plan to change the tremolo and the bridge eventually to just a mastery bridge and tremolo because it does stay in tune, but I mean, it's a $300 guitar, so I mean, it's not gonna be the best trim system. I imagine the trim system, whenever you're trying to cut costs, is probably the hardest thing to get right, in my opinion. But I mean, it does the thing, and it doesn't go super out of tune. So it's it's good for right now. I think really the only thing I'm gonna change right off the bat is this gold pit guard, because it's just a little flashy for me. I may keep it though, we'll see. Um, sorry if it seems a little thrown together. It kind of is. I just wanted to make a quick video on this Squire J Mascus uh, Jazz Master. I guess consider this kind of a review. Like I said, it's a really, really great guitar. Best Squire I've ever played. Um, I feel like if you took the Squire label off the head, then you could tell someone it was a Fender and they would never even question it. I have a Fender made in Mexico Telecaster hanging on the wall and I much prefer this guitar to that guitar. So definitely, definitely recommend getting one of these. And I think it's a great platform for upgrades or you can just keep it stock and it's gonna serve you really well. I cannot wait to write music and record music with this. If you guys enjoy the video, please do hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from me in the future. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.